Hi, I'm Peter Pikalski and today we will link direct costs to the sales plan. If this video uh, will be useful for you, please like us, share us, subscribe us and let's start. Um, first we uh, name this block of inputs. Well, now let's specify what uh, the direct costs, direct costs, or variables for our financial model can be. Well, uh, we uh, manufacture furniture, we manufacture chairs, tables, and uh, to manufacture this furniture, we need, for example, wood, we need, for example, glue, and we need paint. Okay. Then we mark uh, these cells with the color of inputs because all our inputs are colored with blue, like this, like this. We have um, a rule throughout all, all the model. Then we specify the metric for these uh, direct costs or variable costs. So we will buy uh, the wood in cubic meters. We will buy glue in liters and paint also in liters. These are the inputs, so we color them with blue. Then, uh, then we set up the price. The price for the wood, for one cubic meter of wood, uh, for one liter of glue, and price for one liter of paint. For example, um, twenty dollars per wood for one cubic meter of wood, uh, three dollar per one liter of glue and um, two point five li uh, dollars per one liter of paint. Okay. Now um, we have to describe some terms of supply, for example, uh, some uh, direct costs uh, may have some term of supply, for example, if we need the wood today we have to uh, purchase it uh, three months beforehand or two months beforehand or if we need the wood today uh, someone can uh, bring the wood uh, to the uh, factory just today so and we don't have some uh, period of time to bring the resources to the uh, our um, manufacturing company. So uh, here we can specify the uh, terms of supply in months. Terms of supply in months. And for example, uh, here we can enter uh, from zero to three months. Later, I show you how will uh, how this item will be implemented in in the model. Yeah, there is no um, time lab time uh, interval in supply. We uh, 
uh, price zero. If we have uh, a month interval for supply, we uh, put here one and so on, up to three. Uh, then we specify how often we buy this or that uh, direct cost item. Um, well, here we play. We can place uh, the figure from one to twelve. Uh, one means that we buy wood every month. Uh, three, for example, uh, means that we buy it uh, once in three months. Twelve means that we buy it once a year. Six, for example, means that we buy it uh, once a half year interval. So this will be uh, needed um, later when we uh, when we will have to calculate the right amount of financing to start the business. Uh, we will uh, set up the sales plan here and our financial model will automatically calculate the amount of uh, wood, glue, paint needed to buy to, uh, to, get, this, uh, to get this sales plan so th this will be done automatically so for example let's place uh, such figures here so what we uh, have to do now. Uh, now we have to specify the natural consumption of uh, direct cost uh, item uh, for each uh, for each um, chair or table. Um, how it's done? Um, So here we place our uh, direct cost items. Here we place um, our chair, well, the chair and the table, the items that we produce. area in this area we specify the consumption of wood glue and paint for each to produce one chair or one table for example we need um, three cubic meters of wood to produce one chair seven cubic meters to produce of wood to produce one table then uh, 2.5 liters of glue, um, 1.5 liter of paint, then for one table we need 7 cubic meters of wood, um, 4 liters of glue and 2.5 liters of paint. These are the inputs, we mark them with a blue color. So what we have to do now? Uh, now we have to um, to calculate how much direct costs uh, we need to uh, produce all chairs and all tables. We have to calculate the natural consumption.
So here is natural matrix. This is very important. Here we put all natural matrix. And here we put uh, the name of uh, the name of the revenue item. Now we go to the sales plan. Now we do the same for uh, table. Now we create totals. So now we need uh, that. Uh, now we see that if we need to produce uh, this amount of uh, chairs and tables, we need uh, this amount of natural. We need uh, this amount of cubic meters of wood, this amount of uh, liters of glue, and this amount uh, of liters of paint. Well, what would I will do now? I will. the numbers closer so now we have to uh, calculate this amount in Take the price.
I'll make some trick here. Later I will show you why. Uh, then uh, we have to displace uh, this money to the left if we need because we have uh, some term of supply we may have some term of supply for this or that uh, direct cost item so uh, this will be needed to calculate the right of uh, the right amount of financing to start our business uh, because if we uh, if we won't displace this amount of money to the left we may finance these uh, expenses from the revenue but uh, in real life we'll have to pay for the wood for the glue for the paint beforehand here and only then we will get the revenue after selling this amount of furniture for example in October so uh, now let's look um, how it can be done This is E formula, this is if. So if there is no displacement, for example, If there is a displacement in one month, we will take this cell. If the, if the displacement is two months, we will take So now you can see the magic. Now you can see the magic. So I will hide the lines for a second to show you what are we fighting for. Uh, for example, here, if we put here zero, we have no displacement. If we put here one, then we get this figure here. If we have two here, then displacement is growing. As a result, uh, we can see here the additional amount, amount of financing needed to start your business. Afterwards, in the cash flow statement, we will see that uh, how much money additional, how, how, how much additional money you need to start the business. We don't need additional amount of money, but as usual, uh, many entrepreneurs see that they do really need a additional amount of money because of this. Um, what next? Uh, now we have to apply this amount of inputs in our uh, calculations. So now we've displaced uh, the direct direct costs, but now we have to um, calculate the cycles of uh, purchase of uh, each 
uh, direct post item. How we can do that? So these are the cycles. Well, now we calculate the cycles. Well, this is if, this is and. Now we have result extrapolated. And here we see the cycles. This is the beginning of the cycle. This is the end. And here we have the cycles for different uh, direct cost item. Um, here we have two month cycle of purchase. Here we have three month cycle. And now we have to calculate the amount of purchase uh, of wood, glue, paint during uh, the payment. How we can do that? This is if, as usual. Then we take um, these inputs. So if the, the essence of the formula is the following, if, the, if we have one here, uh, then we put uh, one month direct cost um, payment. If we have two, then we have 
two months uh, payment because we paid uh, once um, in six months for example if we uh, have six here then the amount of the amount of uh, the amount of uh, parameters will be six one two three four five six Now we close the brackets. Now extrapolate the formula. to uh, set the payment when we have uh, the beginning of the cycle. Each time we have the beginning of a cycle, we will uh, have this payment. So now we'll do the following. This is the beginning of a cycle. Then we put a purchase of a direct cost item. If not, then zero. So each time we have the beginning of a cycle, then we put the money here. Now we will extrapolate this formula. Now we can chop the 
timeline we don't need it anymore and these are the direct costs which will go later to the cash flow statement so what is interesting uh, now we have uh, automatic direct costs uh, for example we start operating activity okay let it be in, in July this is the start but we something for example let's do this buy that each month for example we started our operational activity in July if we have no displacement uh, when we buy uh, direct costs uh, beforehand then we can um, finance our direct costs from the revenue but for example uh, we uh, we buy wood um, one month one month beforehand then we uh, place one here now we have displacement uh, as a result later in cash flow statement we will see that we need we need much money uh, more money to finance our business ID because we started uh, we, get, we got the revenue here but we need to finance uh, direct cost earlier so we need money here earlier for example we buy the wood um, once a year um, for example we buy it once a year and as a result um, we bought it here and next uh, purchase of wood will be here next purchase of wood will be here if we buy the wood once once in four months we will have the following algorithm um, what um, what gives us uh, creating this algorithm? Uh, we're able to see the additional amount of financing of our uh, investment project because uh, we need this money before we get the revenue. This, uh, the same situation um, goes with uh, other direct cost item of Ribolite. It doesn't matter how you call it anyway. But um, such uh, automation of uh, direct costs, for example, g gives us uh, a clear vision of uh, the real amount of financing you need to start the business. This is very important uh, when you just starting to calculate uh, the uh, money you need besides uh, the investments uh, which are specified here. Many entrepreneurs think that we need this amount of money this amount of money and that's all in the world the reality is different uh, we need additional uh, financing we need additional financing for direct cost item we need additional financing for operating losses later I will show you when we uh, uh, move closer to cash flow statement I will show you uh, um, what uh, interesting um, issues uh, uh, we need to um, look at there so in this video um, we've gathered uh, direct costs um, the next video will be devoted to fixed costs uh, then we talk about uh, payroll and then we go to cash flow statement um, if this video was uh, useful for you uh, you can uh, give us a like, uh, subscribe our channel, share this video. Bye bye.